It's Rovin from R48 Productions. We are here at Raising Canes. Just want to show you guys a little life hack while I eat. First, you get yourself your cut chicken combo. You got the three finger combo, the box combo, or the caniac combo. You're all, you got your chicken sandwich meal as well, or you got your kids meal. You can go la carte and get the singles, tenders, toast, coleslaw, drinks, etc. But one thing you do need is Louisiana hot sauce, cane sauce. Also, here's a little life hack. You can butter the toast on both sides at Raisin Cane's for no extra charge. It tastes better, trust me. So you get your Raisin Cane sauce. Is that a cat? Oh, it, it was a cat. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's alive. You get Louisiana hot sauce, like I said in the beginning. Tear it up. Turn off the spill. Then you just kind of want to do this. I'm kind of blocking it, but okay. Oh my God. So you can just put as much as you want. The more you put, the more vinegar taste you're going to get. So I suggest not to put too much unless you're a big fan of vinegar. Um, after that, you get that vinegar smell off the bat. You can get a French fry or chicken tender as your stirring stick. So, you want to stir. You can stir as hard, as uh, vigorously as you want. But you see how I'm stirring, it's overflowing a little bit. So, yeah, that's how you make your hot raisin cane sauce with Louisiana hot sauce and cane sauce. Another life hack, uh, this is like a secret menu sauce, honey mustard. I don't know if I guys, I'm pretty sure you guys seen this in the other past videos that I made of raisin canes. You can definitely do that. You can do no salt fries. They're more crunchier. Some of them are. Some of them are crinkle, soft. You want to stir this hot raisin cane sauce to well combine. It does take a while for the the Louisiana hot sauce to be incorporated because you do get a little like streams of Louisiana hot sauce in the canes on the edges. It's like you have like an outer ring with like hot sauce. Louisiana hot sauce is mostly red peppers and vinegar and water, which is why it, it separates the cane sauce when, when you stir it. But you do get like an extra kick from the sauce. So let's try this with the fry here. So let's give that a shot. It's not really that spicy, to be honest. It really isn't. Here's a chicken tender. If any of you haven't seen a Raisin Cane's chicken tender, some of them come really small, like my plate right now. These are pretty small. Sometimes they come out big and juicy. Sometimes they come out small and juicy, or small, juicy, and crispy. This seems like a little bit of a, a middle ground. Just did this into the Raisin Cane's hot sauce. I see why a lot of people like hot sauce chicken. I really do. It has like a nice spice vinegar flavor that a lot of people seem to love. You get that nice acidic burn. And so with, so with, with a lot of these sauces, with the hot sauce, they tend to get in your throat. What I mean by that is, um, it is really like acidic. Okay, this is the honey mustard. Ah, yeah. Wow. Give me that. Wait, I'm not gonna let that drop in me. Wow. 
Wow. That's good. I haven't had Raisin Cane's in a while. So please excuse me while I enjoy. I'm really trying to like be aware how I'm eating. Not like what I'm eating, how I'm eating. So this is like a half lemonade, half sweet tea. Raisin canes, you guys are on point today. So, all right, let's get into this toast. You can always dip your toast in the honey mustard. Little dink. Oh, no. You know, sometimes I wish I can buy the Kenya combo. And I have at least once in my life. It's like ordering a huge cheeseburger with four patties and four slices of cheese on a toasted bun. I did the fries in the, the Louisiana. Mm, mm, mm. In a way, I kind of understand why so many people love this place, and I can see why people hate this place. The thing is, okay, sometimes. At Raisin Cane's, you know what? The oil gets sunk into the chicken. Chicken. <laughs> the oil gets like a really bad odor to the chicken. And that's because it's going to be hard to replace the oil that they're using every freaking time because they have to be quick, speedy, accurate. Accurate. I can't even say that word. That's embarrassing. So I think that's the reason why they don't um, replace the oil as much. Hmm. And you're knocking. Please excuse me, guys. Ooh. Oh. Oh. For a second, I thought I was getting sick. You know, I woke up this morning and I felt crappy. Oh man, this is good. Ooh, where's that napkin again? Come oh, on, dude. That's just gross. But I'm gonna leave that in the video. Unedited video, so unedited mukbang. I don't know if you guys call this a mukbang or not. But, um. I don't know if you guys call this a mukbang, but if you do. So, I've been thinking. You know, with the food reviews, I'm enjoying it, but the results are not coming through. Actually, for what, for what I've been posting, the results I've been getting, yeah, they're pretty good results. Oh yeah, if you guys look at the Raisin Cane's menu, in small print under their chicken combos, you can replace any side one extra piece of toast, coleslaw, or sauce.
Yeah, it's chicken. Well, it's in, this is probably going to be a hit or a miss. I need bigger chicken tenders. I'm just saying, Raising Cane's. That's like my only down. The only thing I'm going to call you out on right now. Comment down below what is considered a mukbang. See, I'm not even live streaming this. But, um. I'm talking to the camera. But it's not a live audience. So is, does that consider a mukbang? Or should I be eating more food? Should I be eating slower? Should I do ASMR? Oh, I'm eating my fries really fast because these fries get really like... Crispy and cold and dense. And then I'm hurting my arm. Okay. Wow. I remember when moms used to be so full, but now I'm so empty. Oh, damn. It's the right way. I don't even know. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get out of here. I don't think it matters. Or does it really? Mm, the chicken game's on point today. I saved the toast for last, guys. Just say, oh, that's a bright light. Things that I need lighting fixture. It's buttery. I'm pretty sure you can make this at home. And you can make this taste way better. Just cut up some chicken, chicken breast or chicken, chicken thighs. Chicken breast, sorry. Cut it into strips.
salt, pepper, maybe some garlic powder, and maybe some cayenne. And that'll be amazing. What's that noise? I don't know. Whatever. It's like fireworks. Oh, damn. Last bite. Oh, by the way, this like meal is like 930, 981 or 980, 982. Not bad. You're getting you're getting extra charges for the um for the um the lemonade. They charge you like another 35 cents. The extra honey mustard. And that's it. Everything else. Customized to your liking, I guess. I mean, the Louisiana hot sauce is free. If you ask for it. But other than that, everything else is like, you have to pay for. So I'm going to give this uh, Raising Cane's more like an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I don't know if I said 9. I would give it a 9 or a 9.5 if the chicken tenders, chicken fingers were bigger. Um... My lemonade iced tea, I made it myself. Obviously, more lemonade than sweet tea. You know, that's how an Arnold Palmer is made. But, pretty good. Um, be sure to sign up for the Caniac membership. You get a free box combo. Um, you get free rewards and stuff like that. I had a free lemonade, but it already expired like a few days ago. Couldn't use it. Totally my fault. I won that off of the, the game, the Peel the Lemon game app they had for the last couple months. I forgot to use that lemonade. I did get a, f a couple free stuff. Uh, in past videos or you now broadcast, you have seen me wear some um, Raising Cane's t-shirts that I have in my closet. So, yeah, um, may, hey, if there's a chance that they're going to do uh, Peel the Love uh, for next year, make sure you get those game pieces, purchase the drinks, and you might get some free koozies, a water cooler, a plush toy, box combos, maybe even 100000 100 grand. I think that was their grand prize. I think I don't think anybody won it or win it. So, yeah, uh, Raising the Cane, you did a good job. Just wanted the chicken tires to be a little bit bigger. Other than that, you're on point. Love your toast. Um, can't go wrong. Hope you guys have a great day. Um, hope you guys like the haircut. Uh, my barber, Ernest, did, I think he did a pretty good job. Uh, next time, I'm going to cut it a little shorter. And uh, from the Golden Edge in Lakewood, California. Go check that out. Um, add me on Fortnite. On iOS, R48 Productions. Not a good gamer. But I like playing the game. Anyway, um, also R48 Productions is Facebook. Keep roving. I mean, I sound like a Q. Keep roving rolling is the Snapchat. K-E-E-P-R-V-E-N-R-O-L-I-N. Rovins are our Instagram, Twitter. You now. And have a wonderful, wonderful Kaniac Raising Canes box combo day. Y'all take it easy. Love and peace.